Here's a melody loop from volume 9. Let's put an auto filter on this. Say we want to keep some of the original sound and this auto filtered sound. This is the original sound. And this is the auto filtered sound. Here's the problem there's no dry wet on this. I actually have to make a dry wet knob. Click on auto filter, hit command G. That puts it into a group. Then you want to click this icon so you see the chains. Now we have auto filter on a chain and we want to duplicate that. We're going to call this one dry and we're going to call this one wet. On dry, you want to delete the auto filter, leave it on wet. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click chain and you're going to drag out these blue bars. Hover your mouse over the top of the bar when it becomes a bracket and you're going to drag it all the way to the end here so it's light blue on the top and dark blue on the bottom. It switches between the two. And then you want to go on the opposite side for the wet part with the bracket and you want to drag it the other way. Now this chain selector is going to go in between the dry and the wet so you literally have a dry wet knob for auto filter. Then what you want to do is go to your macro and map the chain selector to macro one and then in live 11 you can just keep that the only knob and you want to call it dry wet so it's actually the other way around it's actually wet dry all i want to do to fix that is i'm going to go here and i'm just going to do it the opposite way Now we have a dry wet knob for anything we could want. Completely dry. Turn it up and it's wet. So now you can also save this as a dry wet knob and you can add it to anything. For the dry, you want to keep that with no effects. And then for the wet, you want to put whatever effect you're using for the dry wet. It would just take the place of the auto filter. Fuck!